What up y'all, Jack here, and I'm here to bring you a very controversial topic today. Quilt versus sleeping bag. Okay, let me start this thing out by saying this video is opinionated. I'm not saying that if you have a quilt, you're cool, and if you have a bag, you're a loser. I'm just going to say how a bag has suited me on trail and how a quilt has suited me on trail moving forward and really why I made the switch in the first place to begin with. Let's break down the sleeping bag first. <sighs> Welcome to my kitchen floor featuring my Nemo Disco 15 and my Nemo Quasar sleeping pad. All right, so let's just get into it. What do I actually like about a sleeping bag? I thought about this long and hard, and to be honest with y'all, I can only think of really one thing. Warmth. So, sleeping on the Colorado Trail, I cowboy camped with my friend Brian quite a bit. The one thing I will give credit to the sleeping bag for is it had the ability to cover up my face, and that mummy hood was great, and everything about it, I just noticed a warmer experience so far than I have with my quilt. I know, you know, people will say, you can stay just as warm with a quilt, and I'm sure you can. My quilt is 25 degrees, and my sleeping bag that I ended up loving was 15, so I feel like it's really hard to compare there, because obviously this one has more down and it's more warm. But I do feel like the ability of the sleeping bag to keep you encased and keep more of your body heat in is just better than a quilt. No matter how good you cinch a quilt, there will be some sort of draft if you slightly move or if you really just allow any of that air to get in. Now, I'm not just here to hate on sleeping bags and say they don't have a place. I think it depends on what kind of backpacker you are and just what your sleeping comfortability is. But that's really my only thing I could think of that I could say I really enjoy more about the sleeping bag. Now on to kind of the things that drove me away from a sleeping bag, or the cons. I think for one, the sleeping bag journey for me started out with a Amazon bag, which clearly didn't last long. But as I got into backpacking more and put in bigger miles, I found the REI Magma 30. Now that 30 degree bag was great. It was very, very light. I think it only weighed a pound for a men's long, which was incredible but it wasn't warm and it was not comfortable whatsoever. For anyone out there that might have an REI Magma bag that's looking at this and saying, I don't know what you're talking about, maybe my experience was different, but I could not even move in that thing. It was basically just me in a coffin, and if I were to move at all, the zipper would be underneath me, and I didn't even stay that warm during the night. Being REI, having the gear policy that it was, I could easily take it back and switch it out as long as I hadn't used it for more than a year. That's what led me to the Nemo Disco 15. My girlfriend actually got a Disco before me and she said she loved it because of the spoon-shaped feature that allowed her to roll around at night and just sleep on her side without tangling up the zipper and all those things that I had been dealing with for quite some time. So I went and switched out for a Disco. And I absolutely loved it. I think the Disco is a great bag. I think Nemo is a great company. But ultimately, as I kept progressing in you know, what I was hiking and how I was hiking, I naturally looked for something that was more lightweight. So another con of the sleeping bag that I'm gonna have to say is the weight factor. Now, I'm not one of those people that's trying to be a weight weenie and save every ounce and cut my toothbrush in half, but what I'm saying is that this bag being the men's long that I require weighs almost three pounds versus my quilt that weighs, you know, maybe a pound and a half. So when it came down to it, looking at my pack as a whole and what I could get down from a significant standpoint and not sacrifice a whole lot of comfort, that was a no brainer for me. So really to summarize everything, I think a sleeping bag is better if you want to stay more encased and definitely keep more of that body heat in. So I'd recommend that for my colder sleepers out there and for people that maybe don't want to go out and buy a super expensive quilt just to save a few pounds. 
Now I will say, if you do use a sleeping bag and you're looking to cut down your bag weight by a significant amount, maybe a pound or two, then looking at a quilt might be a pretty good option for you. But all in all, that's really my experience with the sleeping bag. I don't necessarily think one is better than the other. Ultimately, it comes down to what you prefer, but I'm going to talk about with my quilt here in a second, why I made the switch. Ah, now, welcome back, featuring my Zen Movie quilt. This is kind of a bummer, but I forgot my top sheet, so I'm not gonna be able to demo the quilt for you all in its true capacity, but I'm gonna give you a very good visual. Okay, so let's talk about my quilt journey. So, really, I switched to a quilt under the guise that everyone kind of does. I was thinking about base weight. Naturally, I started looking into quilts, and all the quilts that were recommended to me and that people liked were super expensive. And I, the last thing I wanted to do was drop more money on gear, especially a few hundred dollars. I was also very, very concerned that for the amount of money I was going to drop, I was going to get stuck with something that was really drafty and cold and not comfortable. And I was starting to wonder and be on the fence, like, is the weight savings worth it? Am I gonna be actually comfortable? What if I don't like it and I'm stuck with this really expensive quilt? All of these thoughts were kind of creeping through my head, but I can't even remember how I found the company, to be honest with you. I found a very unique quilt through this process. That quilt is Zen Bibi. Besides how I found the quilt and why I switched the quilt, Let's just talk about first what I like about the quilt. Some of the pros are the fact that this quilt is half of the weight of my Nemo Disco. That's what initially enticed me from a pro standpoint. I absolutely love the customized feel to this quilt. First, let me explain. With this quilt, there is a top sheet that actually goes on top of your sleeping pad first. Well, the really cool part is, it's really easy to slip on. It slips on from two holes in the top and two holes at the bottom. And then there's actually like a hook and pulley system. So as the quilt goes down, you can cinch the foot box and you can put in the hooks based on where and how you want the quilt to feel. You can imagine with the top sheet, there's a layer here, and then there's hooks down the side. So as I hook in the quilt, I can make it more encasing around my body to simulate kind of a mummy bag, or I can keep it looser to keep it like an actual quilt blanket style, which I prefer. On top of that, with the top sheet being really cool and me not slipping off of my pad or anything, I have the ability to still keep that mummy hood. This is because with Zen Bibi, they put just down on the mummy hood attached to the top sheet. So you really get the feel of a mummy bag and the warmth, but you don't have to deal with the extra weight and you get the quilt feel of kind of like a blanket being in a bed. Really, that's what made this transition so easy for me is the quilt not only kept kind of the same elements of the warmth of a mummy bag, but it also gave me more versatility for on the hotter nights, using it as a blanket and just kind of opening it up off my body and letting it breathe, or wrapping it around myself and then moving from side to side and then not bunching up underneath me. So I still got the same amount of warmth and with that top sheet design, it really separated itself from other quilts on the market, which ultimately led to me actually getting and using this quilt on trail. Now, I can't speak to any other quilts because I haven't tried any others, but I can imagine there's probably great ones out there. This one just really caught my eye because it didn't feel like such a big transition from a sleeping bag to a quilt. I still felt like I was getting all the benefits of having a mummy bag, while shaving down my weight in half and you know kind of discovering the newfound abilities of a quilt and how it feels different i would say if it wasn't for this unique ability for the top sheet to hook into the sides of the quilt and create more of like an encasing lower half i would have been a lot more hesitant to change to a quilt because i would have been scared of drafts 
Now, don't get me wrong. Like I said before, the sleeping bag was warmer because you're just encased in a bag and the heat really can't escape unless you unzip your bag and let it out. And if I lift up my legs entirely in the said baby quilt, I will feel a draft. But it's kept me warm on some pretty chilly nights on the Colorado Trail. And overall, with its weight and just how it feels, simulating kind of like a real bed type feel with a quilt, I couldn't be happier switching to the quilt. That's kind of my story on pros and cons versus a quilt and a bag and why I switched in the beginning. I think overall, if you're looking at transitioning from a bag to a quilt and you're apprehensive, not only does the Zen Baby quilt make it a little bit easier and not as intimidating, but it's also not as insanely expensive as some of the quilts on the market. Don't get me wrong, it's not extremely cheap either, but it's very comparable to your average bag ranging at about $250 to $300, and they run awesome sales on most holidays running up to 50 to 20% off. I'm not sponsored or paid by any of these companies, just to let you all know, these are just my true opinions on what the differences were between a sleeping bag and a quilt, and ultimately why I'm still using the Zen Bibi quilt on the PCT and any other trails that I'll be hiking in the near future. Okay, so let me know your thoughts in the comments below. Um, you know, I'm sure everyone has input here, but like I said, just an opinionated video, just my journey with a sleeping bag and a quilt, and why I eventually ended up transitioning to the quilt. I know that the only place I could face problems with this is maybe in the Sierras if it's a lot, lot colder, but maybe I will carry a liner or I will upgrade to their 15 degree top quilt and keep my bottom sheet the same. So thank you all for watching as always, and I will see you soon on the next one.